Hey guys, and welcome to possibly one of my most polarizing videos. I know people have very loud opinions on the topic of cosmetic surgery, um, but hopefully I can let people into why I opted for cosmetic surgery or probably more so what I have to explain is the procedure I got because I was offered plastic surgery at 14 years old for a particular condition to do with my ribs um, that I declined when I was younger and I opted for a different procedure to cover the same issue. Um, now, before I talk about what condition it was, what I was trying to cover up and all of the intricacies of the cosmetic procedure that I underwent, uh, I do want to say a potential trigger warning to anyone who has suffered with uh, any body image issues and or an eating disorder. Now, I have suffered with both of those things in my past and I'm just saying uh, with peace and love, I will not be reading the comments on this video uh, for the potential of like triggering myself um, because I've done a lot of progress and a lot of work on learning to love myself and working in and around those body image issues that I have. Um, so I don't want to regress myself by potentially reading comments from people who are very unhappy with my decision um, because I don't need to. I don't need to do that to myself. Uh, so if you were thinking about leaving a hateful comment, you can, but I won't read it. And if you're gonna do that, you're probably already have so i'm speaking to a brick wall <laughs> anyway uh one more thing i want to clarify like i said this has been something i've known i wanted to fix since i was 14 years old um so obviously i've been setting aside money since i was a youngling to get this done and with that being said i have not used any money from crowdfunding sources for example um my patreon or my online stage gigs that money goes towards my music projects the money i used for this procedure was none of that money <laughs> just to clarify because i know that i would probably be worried about that myself if i was a someone who supported my career um so yes none of that money was used this was a mixture of gift money um and alternative sources of income for me um so nothing to do with anything that has to do with my music or the creation of my content. So just wanted to clarify that as well. Anyway, let's <laughs> dive into the video. So firstly, to address the why did I get cosmetic surgery? Um, when I was 14 years old, I went into my doctor's office um, with complaints about my ribs. Um, the aesthetics, because I have three rib conditions and the pain. So I had, when I got my painful rib condition is when I also brought in the problem of aesthetically how my ribs looked so this is a regardless of the painful condition I said what about my ribs um can I fix these what can I do about these because basically I had what was informally known as pigeon chest and another rib condition which also not only do my ribs point out they also have a hole in them there's like a hole in my ribs which you know, I call my chip dip and I've learned to love it over the years where I would literally put jelly beans in it and <laughs> eat from that little concave. But um, it's definitely made me more uncomfortable the older I've gotten. And I was warned about that as well because uh, though it was not as noticeable when I was younger, I was told that that kind of condition gets more obvious the older you get because your skin begins thinning and uh, that was very true. <laughs> so... Obviously, the surgery I opted for, which was a breast augmentation, or again, informally known as a boob job, and I hate that term, not gonna lie, um, I opted for that. That was not the surgery I was offered at 14 years old, <laughs> obviously. Um, the surgery I was offered was basically um, where they hmm, break your ribs. <laughs> put them back together so that they can remove the hole. Now at 14, that did not sound ideal. Um, but basically since my teenagers, I've been putting money away because I kind of in the back of my head knew that, okay, if it's gonna get worse with age, I'll probably come around to the idea of getting that done. Now, I never fully came around to the idea of getting my ribs broken. However, 
I'd, you know, I, I feel like you don't think about having a boob job unless you're a girl who has no boobs and I was a very proud member of the itty bitty titty committee do not get me wrong um but I cannot say that I didn't ever feel envious for my bigger busted friends um I did uh but I practiced a lot of self-love on and on and in and around that topic and I will still stand by it even though it seems contradictory I loved my little girls I did (laughs) but I also was now ready to uh, maybe do two things in one uh, because I've seen a lot of people with the same condition I had going and getting breast augmentations to cover it up because you might get lucky because some people unfortunately it doesn't it doesn't always work but even then still seemed like a better option than getting my ribs broken surprise <laughs> but basically getting a breast augmentation to use the breast tissue cleavage uh to cover the hole in the ribs um i'll let you know now that was successful um my hole in my chest is nowhere near as noticeable as it once was thank gosh not that there's anything wrong with that condition by the way and if you have that condition i'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having it at all okay no one needs to have cosmetic surgery so i obviously went to numerous doctors had so many consultations either free consultations or paid for consultations um to ensure that i was making the correct choice and there was a company that i just kept coming back to because they had great reviews Uh, i'm not going to say who that is um because i'm not endorsed to so i'm not going to do that also it just doesn't feel right to do that but anyway um luckily when i was doing these consultations i did a few online um but most were done in person and with the place that i opted for i actually got to see them in person because this was right before the world shut down um it was like near the end of summer uh when i was doing my in-persons and that was totally fine it was totally legal it was totally above board so ta-da i i was very lucky i got to go in and actually like look at implants discuss implants see my doctor face to face and have those discussions with them and have consultations with uh pccs all that kind of stuff so again very lucky for that because i'm pretty sure like two weeks after i'd went for my consultation with my final consultation with the company i'd chosen the world shut down and I didn't know if it was going to go ahead, but because it was a private clinic, a private surgery, I actually was able to go ahead because um, I wasn't having a surgery in in a public hospital. Um, so that was nice. They were very, very strict on everything coronavirus related. Um, so on the run up, you know, I had to isolate for a week. If you're wondering why I was isolating, that is why I isolated for a week. Um, and I, you know, took like numerous coronavirus tests Uh, before I could even go to the clinic for the surgery that day and when I got there on the day of surgery I had another test uh, to make sure that I was coronavirus free and I was so I was able to go forward with my surgery so I'm quickly going to go through the boring factual bits because I know if anyone's watching this and they are considering getting a breast augmentation that these numbers make sense to people who are considering it so um i had to get a bigger implant than what it looks like i have because i have really wide ribs again coming back to the weird rib situation but yes um so i couldn't get a smaller implant not that it looks like a big implant but i couldn't get smaller implants because of just how wide my ribs are it would have looked like two little dots glued onto my body not what i wanted so I ended up getting a 450 cc in each and I went for a round, high profile and silicon. There you go. And it is the brand Mentor. So it's Mentor implants. So <laughs> to anyone who is curious of my stats, um, I went in with barely any breast tissue at all. I didn't even fit in a 32a cup so that is what it is uh i'm not gonna say what my numbers are now because i'm still again not at the end of the process where they're like done they're not fully baked yet so i don't know (laughs) what their size is so and also don't really feel comfortable right now with people knowing how big my girls are do you know what i mean so i'm not gonna do that but those are the statistics for people who want to know 
what that was. I think a big thing with cosmetic surgery and my aversion to getting this done for so long was, you know, since I was 16, I have been a little bit in the spotlight to, to some, like to varying degrees. And um, it means that decisions like this, as much as you want something like this to be private, it can never really truly be private because already and we're only like a month or two after my surgery people have already started speculating about my body and that's been bizarre so when people are probably questioning why i would even make this video uh, it's because people are already talking about it and i wanted to be the one that's in control of the dialogue um because i don't like rumors and i know like i said that like i would have loved to have done like a a vlog of this whole process but I just knew that mentally I wanted to be comfortable in myself before I made a video like this um so I didn't do a, like a f process of it like a behind the scenes or anything like that because I just wanted to ensure that I was doing everything correctly for me and what is best for my mental state I don't particularly moving forward want to make any more videos on this topic and that's why I wanted to include all of the facts and try and get everything I could into this one video because I just want to leave it at the door honestly it's not something I really want to talk about a lot and I feel like with reading all of the comments people have already started saying about my body on certain websites I I'm already over the topic <laughs> I'm so over it like um I read a comment the other day that really just baffled me to no end and it was from a fan but like they, they basically were saying that because they support me on Patreon that they have like the right and they deserve to see my body because they paid for it um and again they didn't like this money has been alternative sources of income that has gone into me getting this done and that was on purpose uh, because I in the past I've even been offered from people like loved ones oddly enough strangers welcome to the internet to pay for my breast augmentation I've had people offer to pay for that a million times before and I've said no every single time and it's such because I don't like the feeling of somebody owning a part of me um especially something so intimate as that body part uh, it just felt so weird and that's why I took so long um obviously to save the money and to make sure I was over 25 so whenever I read comments from people directly saying not even insinuating that they own a part of me it weirded me out and I know that because I put myself online all the time and I make music and I'm out here putting myself out there um, this will never be the end of the discussion of my body or me as a person and I understand that and you know that is unfortunately just part of the territory and I totally accept that um, but that kind of comment <laughs> I will not accept because it's because it's not true um, so yeah just I'm over the discussion. I don't really want to talk about it much further. You know, maybe I'll discuss it on live streams. Maybe I won't because as you can imagine, you don't always want to talk about your body, especially when I've got lots of exciting things like new music on the way. The album, the book I dropped in the past, you know, I don't necessarily want to talk about my body because it seems in some ways a bit irrelevant, but um, I wanted to have this discussion here so that I could just say my side share my thoughts and feelings the whys the hows all the rest of it um just to keep everyone who would care updated and all of that kind of stuff and to make sure nothing gets miscommunicated or misunderstood um so yes if you made it to the end of this video <laughs> no idea how but thank you so much for watching um i hope you got something from it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Um, but I hope you're having a happy day and that the world is treating you the way you deserve. All right. Bye. <laughs>